do you do you recall I'm trying I'm trying um, what if anything did the medical records reflect about your nose objection your honor hearsay I'll sustain the objection court removed clip of the judge humiliating Elaine just published. Elaine has done it again. She has proven how unprofessional she can be even in court and in a court removed clip. Another judge put her in her place and no, it's not Judge Asgaret so stick to the end of the video to find out who it was. During the 2021 lawsuit between Amber and Depp, one of Depp's lawyers Leo Preciado stood out for his impressive performance but something else happened that we didn't see. Elaine was biting way more than she could chew and this was seen in her request for more time for questioning Depp's former agent, Christian Carino. But here's what's interesting, Preciado knew he had to put Elaine in her place. And trust me, he did. In the photo, we can see Elaine arguing about being given seven hours for cross-examination which is grossly ridiculous, if you ask me. But Elaine didn't see it that way. Instead, she disrespectfully went back and forth with Preciado. To be honest, we are not surprised. Judging by how Elaine acted unprofessionally during the U.S. trial, any other discriminating clip or document that corroborate her lack of professionalism won't come as a shock. But in case you are wondering who exactly Leo Preciado is, pay attention as we give you a quick peek. Remember when Heard alleged in multiple legal cases that the Pirates of the Caribbean star hurled a phone at her face and trashed their Los Angeles penthouse during the violent fight that led to their divorce? Well, Preciado came to the rescue by landing Depp a good defense. According to the Aquaman actress and her team, Four different LAPD officers visited Heard in Depp's apartment that night. Due to the actress friends calling 911 twice and in one of the depositions obtained by Daily Mail, the first two officers, Tyler Haddon and Melissa Seats, who were not wearing cameras at the time, said they arrived around 15 minutes after the alleged incident and swept the penthouse. However, they said they didn't see any injuries on Heard's face or evidence of vandalism or disarray as the Justice League star had claimed. Do you recall what you were thinking? I remember being impressed by the, the penthouse, how big and beautiful it was, yes. But anything else? No, nothing. In fact, one of the officers, Seens, a domestic violence specialist, told Heard's attorney Elaine Bredehoft in her deposition last month that she did not identify Heard as a victim of domestic violence. Now, this is where Leo Preciado came in. He boldly asked if she remembered spotting anything resembling the damage shown in the photos Heard previously presented in court. I did not, Seens responded. Preciado went further to explain that the Aquaman actress claims about that night were far from the truth and that the evidence she provided are false too since one of the officers that witnessed that night never saw Amber as a victim of DV. Apparently, Depp's team has been giving Amber's team, especially Elaine, a tough time for a while and now. The efforts of Depp's legal team have paid off big time. See you in the next video. Stay connected.